Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from you Get Tech. For all of you parents out there, I know what a nightmare it is trying to monitor your kids' social media access. With kids nowadays having access to their mobile phones, to their tablets, or even to their PCs, it actually makes it easier for them to reach out and interact with their friends. And at the same time, it's making them vulnerable to people who will take advantage of their willingness to chat and make friends. So in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you the features of this uh, Money Master monitoring tool that you can utilize to make sure that your kids are safe when they're online and interacting with people on social media. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's get this software and feature review going. So Money Master has a couple of tools that you can use. It has Android monitoring, it has iOS monitoring, and of course it has iCloud monitoring. So for now, since my daughter is, at, is primarily using an Android phone, I'm going to be discussing more about the Android monitoring part of the Money Master tool. Don't get me wrong guys, you might be saying that this is an invasion of privacy, but as parents, it is our right to make sure that our kids are safe when they're using their devices and going online. Having used Money Master for a while, I can actually agree that this is one of the best parental control app for Android because it lets you keep an eye on your children's Android phones. I can keep track of their location and I can prevent social media addiction, which is of course happening a lot. And I can detect inappropriate content. If they're talking to people who are pretending to be their age, it's hard to be behind your kids' shoulders 24 seven. Of course, we've got jobs and we've got uh, housework to do. So how does the tool help parents keep their kids safe? One of the main advantages of this uh, Money Master tool is it lets you know where your kids are. So with lockdown being lifted in some areas for the pandemic, our kids are now able to go out and about. So with this tool, you're going to be able to know where your kids are at any specific time. So what does the app let you do? It actually lets you view almost everything on our kids' Android devices. So it enables us to view almost all the data. It's viewable from the website dashboard. So uh, as I mentioned, guys, there, you can view the phone files. You can view the messages, the call logs, contacts. There's a key logger, so you'll be able to see uh, what they're messaging when they're on their phone. So you can view the photos, the videos. You can track their app activities, browsing history, even the calendar. So there are a lot of things that you can do. One of the other things that I really like about this app is the remote tracking and control. So I can remotely track the phone's locations or I can set a safe zone for them and I can capture screenshots, take photos and record phone calls remotely. A lot of things that you can do with this app. And I really like that they've added a lot of uh, social apps here. So you've got WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Facebook Lite, Line, Line Lite, Tinder, of course you've got WeChat, Telegram, Viber, uh, Kick, Messenger, Messenger Lite, and QQ. Would I like to see Discord added somewhere here because our, my kids actually actively use Discord a lot, but uh, I can make use of the keylogger and the app activity to see what they're doing. And aside from monitoring app data, it helps us track location and view frequent contacts on our kids' phone. So I know the exact address as well as the location history. I can find out who their uh, frequent contacts are by checking their phone loggers and text messages. As I mentioned, app activity history is there. You got the key logger, I can record the keystrokes. I can capture screenshots on my kid's phone at any time. There's a Wi-Fi logger so you know whose house your kids has been in depending on which Wi-Fi network they've connected to. There are three simple steps. Of course, you have to sign up and purchase, download and install the software, and go ahead and start monitoring. So if you want to sign up and purchase, uh, just to let you know guys, if you want to buy now, there are a couple of plans here. The cheapest plan, of course, is the yearly plan. You only have to pay uh, $8.32. Uh, of course, if uh, you only want to try it for a month, you have to pay $29.99. Um, this is the most expensive one and there's a three month plan it's $16.65 but in my opinion guys the yearly plan is uh, the best value for money okay so once you've already signed up and uh, paid for whatever plan that you want to use all you need to do is download the app to the target phone okay so as I mentioned all you need to do is open up your uh, phone's browser and go to an.moneymaster app.com so of course you need physical access to device at, at first but once installed then you don't you no longer need to have access to your kids phone so let me go ahead and download this it's downloading okay 
So once downloaded, all you need to do is install uh, allow from the source. Done. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, there are terms and agreements, of course. I'll agree to that. And let me log on to my account. Okay, and you have to allow all the permission request. So once you're done with all the steps, a lot of steps to go through, I uh, just need to make sure that you go through one by one, then verify the setup. So let's see what I can see here, guys. So you have access to the phone files. So let's say call logs. So this is a new phone. I don't have much in here. So just to go through the features that you've got on the phone, guys. So for the dashboard, you've got your account and order info. You get your device info. So you get your top eight calls, top eight messages, and your last known location. So this is exactly where I am at the moment. So here are the features that you can use, guys. So if um, I've made any lo uh, calls, you can it will appear in the call logs. If I've got messages, like it will appear here. You've got the contacts here. These are all the contacts on my phone. I've got the browser history. I've got photos. So um, I'll check that out. Why is that that's not appearing at the moment? You get the video preview for app activities. Nothing at the moment. So for the keylogger, uh, let's start. Of course, we've got the location tracking. So I've got GPS on. So this is exactly where I am at the moment. And as I mentioned, guys, for the geofence, if I actually leave the area at any time, so my house, there, save, our time. Yep. Every let's say every Monday. Okay. Okay, there you go guys. So if for whatever reason I actually leave the house during Monday to Friday, then this is going to send an alert to my email telling me that I am no longer where I'm supposed to be. So for the Wi-Fi logger, it's going to uh, tell you which Wi-Fi network you've been connected to. All right, so I started using Messenger and you can see here that there are chat heads active here. And it's, as your child actually starts using the phone, it's going to gather a lot more data that you can go through. And all you need to do is log on to your dashboard and you can choose all the features that you want to do. And one of the key things here is you can have, I already tested out the capture screenshot. I'm able to view an actual screenshot at the time that my child is using the phone. If you're worried about where your child is, uh, you can take a photo. It's going to use uh, the rear camera of your kid's phone. But in this case, since I had the phone lying on the desk, it couldn't take any proper picture. You can actually use it to take a picture of your kid's surroundings, especially uh, when they're actually using it outside. So let's say if I actually want to record a call, so um, you can actually automatically record a phone call. If your child has gotten a call, it's going to record that phone call and that phone conversation. It's going to be doing it discreetly so your child will not know that you're monitoring their activities on their mobile phone. So just a, as a recap, uh, what can you do on your child's phone? So you can view your phone files, you can view the call logs, you can view the messages, contacts, browser history so you can make sure that your child is uh, going to age-appropriate websites and of course there's the app activities so I'm gonna let the, uh, the app run for a while and let it capture all the activities that it's going to be using on the phone phone location so you're going to know exactly where your child is or you where your child's phone is of course if they have it with them I've already showed you how to set up a geofence so that's a very useful tool you've got the Wi-Fi logger so it's going to tell us which Wi-Fi network your child is connecting to and of course the most important part is the social apps you've got the whatsapp uh, monitoring you get facebook monitoring you get messenger monitoring snapchat instagram tinder telegram so it's not only for your kids uh, probably tinder is here so if you think your significant other is cheating on you or messaging um, uh, other people behind your back and uh, this is well, one way to go about it so there are a lot of social media apps here that you can use and the last option is the remote control you can do uh, you can record calls you can capture screenshots, you can take photos, and of course you can export that data. 
And as I mentioned guys, it's not just for Android, it's also available for iOS. You can monitor up to 20 plus iPhone file types. You can spy on your iPhone on your kid's iPhone without jailbreaking. So you don't have to jailbreak or root your phone. And you can of course uh, export all your data to a local computer. And you've got 24 by 5 technical support to ensure that you've got a smooth iPhone monitoring experience. So with that said, do you guys agree that it is the parents' right to monitor your kids' activities, especially when they're active online and on social media. So with that said, guys, uh, let me know if this is a piece of software that you want to try and use. I've included the download link on the video description below. I've also pinned the download link on the comments. As usual, guys, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all on my next one.